they go. The Warriors over Wasatch did not disappoint today. You can hear them. Wow. Fun to watch that. Yeah, for those attending, the thrill of seeing planes doing aerobatic maneuvers in the sky, well worth the wait. New specialist Jeff Lysak has been up there all day from Hill Air Force Base. Jeff. Yeah, Keith and Ashley, the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds just finished an amazing show. One so good, it actually gave you goosebumps standing out here on the tarmac in all this hot sun. Now, one thing that hasn't been so spectacular today is the traffic in and around Hill Air Force Base. We've heard from a number of people about waits of several hours just to get on base. That doesn't include time spent trying to find parking or the wait to get through security. For those who made it in, though, there was plenty to see and do. The roar of jet engines drew all eyes to the sky as pilots swooped and dived for spectators of all ages, like the Whitby family from Ogden. We have two kids that are uh, seven and five, and they just really enjoy the planes. Hey, Dad, why do you think there are these things that come up in the ground? So walking inside the cavernous belly of a C-5 Super Galaxy was cool for Oliver and Sawyer Whitby, but not as cool as... Mm, watching the planes fly. Of course, there was plenty of that, with planes from aviation's past, present, and future on hand to watch and even to climb on. This tells you if you're sideways or upside down. These guys actually like uh, the Army trucks. They like uh, the helicopters. Anything they can sit in and play with the controls on, they, you know, they love it. Thousands of people took the chance to do just that, making Hill Field a sea of humanity and making for lots of long lines. Is it worth it? Oh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And uh, if this is a recruiting tool, I think it works well. Sign me up. You can see the exodus of people behind me leaving the flight line. I was told all those people will have to leave Hill Air Force Base through the south gate. So if you're traveling in this area at any time in the next few hours, be prepared for a, a lot of wait, a long delay. Now, as for the morning show tomorrow, the gates open at 8 o'clock in the morning. The pre-show starts at 930. The best advice I can give you is come early and bring your patience with you. Keith? They were expecting 600,000 people to be at the show this weekend, so that's very good advice. Thank you, Jeff, very much. Looks like a good time up there. We're following break.